Hey Sagittarius, it's Goddess Puff and this is your next 48 hours for January 25th to the 26th of 2022. All right, for Sagittarius. What's going on Sagittarius in the next 48 hours? What Sagittarius needs to know for January 25th to the 26th of 2022 for Sagittarius. What's going on with Sagittarius in the next 48 hours? All right, last shuffle for Sagittarius. Next one. All right, we have hair transformation. We have stag premonition. We have ant cooperation. And the overall energy is dwarf resourceful. Okay, I want to keep getting this. This unlikely ally energy. I got the unlikely ally energy in Scorpio and Leo. So if you're dealing with any of those signs, you may want to go watch those readings. But I, I'm getting like unlikely ally energy. So a transformation and premonition, either you predict this person's transformation or you predict your own and, and you work with it instead of going against it. I feel like um either you're very resourceful or someone else is. I feel like you and someone else or you or or someone else go through a transformation. It's either one of you that does. And you see a change or you either predict the transformation or you predict that you two need to work together. One of you is very resourceful. And so it balances out the other. Uh, with Dwarf coming out of the overall energy, I feel like you are the resourceful one. And so you're the one going through the transformation. That, and you predict this happening. You already still, you may have saw it in a dream. You predicted this happening. Or you could be a tarot reader and you predicted this happening. You two working together, yeah. Okay, let's get to the tarot and see. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Four Sagittarius, next 48 hours for Sagittarius. Next 48 hours for Sagittarius. January 25th to the 26th of 2022. Oh, I said Aquarius, I'm sorry. I meant to say Sagittarius, so you could be dealing with an Aquarius or have it highly aspected. January 25th to the 26th of 2022 for Aquarius. Last shuffle. I think I just said Aquarius again. I'm so sorry, Sagittarius. January 25th to the 26th of 2022 for Sagittarius. I'm so sorry. One more shuffle for Sagittarius. Next 48. That was for somebody here. I, I don't know why I kept saying that. <laughs> you could be dealing with one or have it highly aspected. But we have the world card, which is, y'all going to hate me for this, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. <laughs> the world card is also 60. <laughs> so you're completely closing a cycle of where there was disruption and mayhem or chaos. Because there was, in the past, you were like, no way in hell I'm going to work with this person. And all of a sudden, you get a premonition and realize it's time for you to grow or change. It's time for you to work together. And you end up working together. And you find that you are very resourceful or that this person is. You find out that you are actually a great team. Please check out the Scorpio, Leo, and clearly the Aquarius reading. I feel like I need to do the air signs because air signs are coming up for a few people. So I may have to do the air signs. After the, the fire signs, we have the queen of wands. This could very well be you or the person you're dealing with could be another fire sign. But Aries Leo Sagittarius, here you are. Queen of wands, nine, teaches arts and sciences, tells anything one desires to know, gives dignities, can make any man subject to one's demands, gives good familiars. Mm. And we have makes one skilled in labor and crafts, increases knowledge of philosophy and science. So, yes, yeah, someone's like I said, very resourceful here. So someone here has um, a lot of. OK, so it's going like this. One of you has a lot of knowledge about the subject, like educational knowledge, like a lot of brain power. And the other one has more physical power. Like they have a lot of resources, a lot of tangible things so one of you has a lot of mental like facts or that you're very knowledgeable about it and the other one has other physical things to get the thing to get things done so one of you is more physical the other of you is mental and you both work very well together to get this done so you have all the facts and knowledge about something this person can bring you what you need the resources to actually build what it is that you need 
So we have the King of Swords here, which is 15, which is also a six. Um, reveals knowledge of, of forthcoming battles and procures the favor of lords and kings. So I see that you um, you predict that you two or you and this other group will have an upheaval. So to avoid this fight, this conflict, to avoid this group from falling apart or arguing, you decide to grow and change. Because you have, you have a premonition that this group can actually work together and to avoid a conflict, you, you transform your company or you transform your view or way of thinking. You transform something because of a dream or prediction that you had about, because I see that you two coming together. It's like I, I had a dream, <laughs> literally. I'm getting like that Martin, Martin Luther King line, I had a dream. Like you and this opposite group come together and make it work. And so you avoid some like catastrophic things. And we have the five of cups, which is aim. 23, which is also a five, reveals secrets and increases one's intellect, spreads destruction by fire. And, and oh, King of Swords was right here. So we have Queen of Wands and King of Swords. And with the five of cups, and then it says spread destruction by fire. Now you've got air and, and wind. I mean, fire and wind, that's going to exasperate and spread that fire. <laughs> You're just blowing it around. So and with the, being with the world card before these two and the five of cups, you're putting your um, past differences behind. But I feel like you have some conflict in the past, you two. You and an air sign or just you and someone who's very opposite. I feel like um, you have a lot of fire in your chart or you're just, you know, a Sagittarius. And then there's someone, if they're not an air sign, they just have a lot of air in their chart. You two have a lot of, um, you have some history. You two are putting that aside and working together. You're putting it aside. You're not allowing it to make you to argue. Overall energy is the six of cups, your past. So you may have, um, you may have children with this person or you may know this person from childhood or this may be your child and you just, you have a lot of history with this person. You have bad history with this person. The five of cups is crying over spilled milk, wishing you two could have worked things out. But instead of shoulda, coulda, woulda, you just, you transform and you make it work. Overall energy again, six of cups, which is also a 30. Teaches rhetoric and languages, gives one a good reputation, makes one beloved by friends and foes. So you two make things right. You two come back together. And I feel like you have past conflict and disappointments. Again, crying over spilled milk, but you permanently put that behind because you decided to grow and change. I'm not saying that you were the problem, but if there's two people arguing, one of y'all got to budge or nothing's going to change. So I see because you decided to change, because you see you two working together. You see how you can make it work together. I also feel you transform the situation. So you use, because I feel like you two are very opposite or you exasperate each other. Like, like I said, air and fire. So, but you look, instead of looking at your weaknesses or how you oppose each other, look at how you grow each other and how you can work together. Like I said, one of you is very intelligent or you're, you're very knowledgeable about this thing. Cause I feel like you both want the same thing, but you're both going about it very different ways. You both want the same thing, whether it's a relationship, a business, um, company, whatever. I feel like you want to build your relationship together or you want to build a business or a family together, whatever it is, whether it's love or work or family, and, but you two go about it very different ways or you both think you should do it a different way or you think both of you are wrong about how you go about it. But instead of like, because I feel like you are the more physical power, you are the resourceful one. So you have a lot of resources. You have a lot of people that can help you to get it together or you have a lot of, um, I just feel like you have a lot of physical resources in the material world while you're dealing with an air sign or someone who's, who's done their research um, and who studied this topic. But put those two things together where you have a lot of resourcefulness or a lot of skills to actually physically make this work or build. This person has went to school for this. So it's like it's like someone who's not a, like you have two people trying to perform a surgery. This is the best way I can explain it to you. So sorry if it sounds crazy. So you have two people trying to perform a surgery on someone. There's, but one of them is afraid of blood or afraid to cut somebody open. The one who's afraid to do that is the one who's very knowledgeable, who knows how to do it, but can't physically do it. While you're the one who's not afraid to physically do it, but you don't know how to. 
So you have the resources, you have the capability to cut the person open. You're not afraid to perform the surgery, you, but you don't know how to because you didn't go to school for it. You weren't taught it. So the King of Swords knows how to do it. They went to school for it. They know exactly what you need to do, but they're afraid to do it. So you would be the person to perform the surgery while they tell you how to do it. All right. So that's the best way I can explain how your relationship works together. And you two are a perfect match. You're like yin and yang. If you work together, put your differences aside, you can make something great. But you're also just as well as you can work together is just as much as you can fight and hate each other. So you could be in a, like a power couple or a power group, but at the same time, you could be like each other's worst enemy. But I see that you're transforming this because you predict like you two could work together and create something great. So you put it behind you, bury the hatchet. Clarify this for Sagittarius. Clarify this for Sagittarius. And this could also be two sides of yourself as well, bringing that together. But yeah, clarify this for Sagittarius. Let me give you two more shuffles. For some of you, it's your children that, that are causing this conflict. You're in conflict with your children or someone from your past or someone you have children with or, or your childhood, something like that. Clarifying the world card is the four of cups. Yeah, you're, someone's handing this person a cup. They're pouring out their own cup and someone's handing them a cup and you're just not interested. So someone's not, weren't, wasn't interested in like making things right at first. Or there was a missed opportunity to fix things or make things right. So the world card, and someone's just not crying over spilled milk anymore. Six of cups, the past, yeah. I feel like in the past, someone was disinterested in making things work. Or someone is long, no longer interested in making things work. Because look, Look at this card. These two people are kissing in the back. They're irrelevant. <laughs> but it's like this person right here. I don't know if you can see it because of the glare. But they're pouring their cup out at the bottom and looking away. And this person here is trying to hand them a new cup because they see them pouring the cup out. But they're not interested. They pour out their own cup and they don't want nothing. They don't want their cup at all. They don't want no offering. So you could have brought them a cup before and they poured it out and you're trying to hand them another one. Oh, okay. So maybe you tried to make peace in the past and it didn't work. Or they tried to make peace with you and it didn't work. This is like a second attempt to make things work. So this is a second attempt to make things work. In the past, it did not work out, but you're trying again. Six of Cups. Yes. So some for some of you, your past person comes back or your, someone from your past comes back and you turn them down. You're not interested anymore. You let it go. You close the cycle for some of you. But for others of you, it's like a second, like you're you're trying again. Even though this person, or maybe you turned them down in the past or they did, even though you were disinterested in before, you're trying again. Clarifying the Queen of Wands is the Three of Wands. Yeah, your ships are coming in. This person is coming towards you. The Moon card, Pisces. Yeah, you. I don't think you expect them. So you could be the one reaching out to them or they could be reaching out to you. But I feel like either you weren't interested in the past and you're trying again or they weren't interested in the past and they're trying. Something like that. Someone's trying again. You don't see this coming. But instead of rejecting them this time, you allow them to speak. Because I feel like you are the one who's keeping quiet or you're being secretive. Not that you're a, a liar or anything or this, per, this Pisces is. But it's like you, you're keeping things to yourself. You're keeping quiet. Because I feel like you have great things coming towards you, but you're not speaking about them. Or someone may have tried to keep you a secret and you weren't interested. Maybe you were dealing with someone and you wanted them to be, you wanted to be exclusive and they didn't. I feel like someone tried to keep you a secret and now they're coming towards you. Clarifying the King of Swords is the Queen of Pentacles. Could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah. So for for some of you, not all of you, for some of you, it's a third party situation. And someone tried to keep you a secret. Yeah. The higher font, Taurus. Clarifying the King of Swords. So this person, the this air sign is um already in a relationship with an earth sign, and they wanted to keep you as a side chick or keep you a secret. What? And you're not interested in that, so you cut them off. Yes, this person tried to make you a side chick. What? And I'm getting Taurus with the um the Queen of Pentacles. 
clarified by the, the higher font Taurus, but it could have been any earth sign. I'm just naming the signs I see. I see you're the queen of wands. They see you as someone very feisty, very fiery, very attractive. And they wanted to keep you a secret. While they stay with the queen, the, the earth sign, a Taurus. Wow. Okay, clarifying um the five of cups is the king of pentacles. What? We have a king and queen of pentacles here. So this is okay, so let's take another turn. So there is a couple here. Uh, so you two, like I said, you could be business partners. That's what I was saying at the beginning. You two could cooperate and make a great business, a great company, family, whatever. You two balance each other out very well, yin and yang. You 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 make up for what each other lacks. Like like I said, you I feel like you're the the physical. You aren't you're not afraid to get your hands dirty, and but this person is, but they have the knowledge to guide you. But it takes vulnerability to trust each other to do that. It's for you to follow this person's instructions and for them to trust you to deliver. Like it takes great vulnerability for two very opposing teams to work together to rely on each other this way. So maybe in the past they weren't interested in being with you because they weren't interested in being vulnerable or they didn't trust you. I feel like this person, I feel like you were more than prepared to do the physical work. But this person, I feel like this person was kind of snooty or stuck up. They didn't trust you to physically do it because they feel like they were more educated on a certain topic about maybe they went to school for business. And, and you are physically ready to do the work or build the business, but they didn't trust you. They wanted to like get a financial investor or someone who's more professional or someone who's more knowledgeable. So they rejected working with you. I feel like you tried to make amends or make peace with them and they weren't interested. So they went on to someone else that they thought was a better option. Clarifying the five of cups is the knight of swords. Yeah, someone trying to win it all cause. I feel as though it was it was the air sign who ruined this. They decided to go into business or a relationship with someone else because they thought it would be more financially stable. They they didn't trust you. Overall energy, Queen of Swords. That's wild. That is wild. We have King and Queen of Swords, King and Queen of Pentacles. Six of Cups. This um this is definitely a third party situation. Now, you two could very well be, the, I don't see you two as the king and queen of, you know, you, if you two go into business, like I said, you two could balance each other out very well, make a lot of money and both of you be very, you're a very good match. I, I feel like you keep this fiery side of you hidden or like something like that. Because with the moon card, secrecy, clarifying the queen of wands, I mean, I see that as you, and I see that as you with the three of wands, great things coming towards you, fiery energy. Over on you being the queen of swords. So I see that you're not afraid to speak your mind, obviously. I see you are the queen of swords. So you are very equally matched for this person intellectually, especially verbally. I feel like where this person, like, I feel like, okay, this is how I'm going to say it. This person's intelligent and they speak very fluently, but you have like, a you do too, but you have like a fire to it. So where this person is being direct and factual or condescending, you're just straight like insulting to them. Like you just come back with the quickness, but the way you deliver things is like feisty. You're like hurting their feelings where they're like trying to hurt your feelings by be con being condescending. You're just straight up dragging this person. <laughs> so you're both really intelligent and really articulate but you have more of a fire, a flair to you, where this person is just more business, like in street. Like they're just, they're just all business. And you add the flair to this. I feel like you either hit that fire part of yourself. You hit that aspect of yourself. I feel like this person wanted you to tone it down. 
Or like I said, because you were too feisty, they chose to go with someone else. Because they were, I feel like this is a born ass couple though. Like they didn't, they try to reject that Sagittarius side of you. You are a Sagittarius or you have Sag highly aspected in your chart. And they wanted to reject that side of you because they, they feared that side of you being too outspoken or a risk. So you either tried to hide it or they tried to keep you a secret. All right, this is 20 minutes, so I'm going to end it here. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me. All of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, her Etsy is linked below. I send you peace, blessings, and love, Sagittarius. Namaste.